Hi YouTube, this is Jordan Abraham again with another video. In this video, I'll be talking about updates about the YouTube channel as well as a summary of me and a summary of the channel overall. Uh, first things first, let's talk about the updates. Update number one, I'm no longer called Modern Diogenes. I used to be called Modern Diogenes on this YouTube channel. I changed it to Bipolar and Beyond. The reason for that is because I don't really feel like I follow the philosophy of Diogenes that much at all, to be honest. It's to very little extent. And basically, um, he resonated with me and inspired me a lot when I was homeless back in 2019. And the reason why I was homeless was a lot to have to do with bipolar disorder. But he did, I don't really follow his philosophy uh, that much today. I don't really plan to do that, that much in the future. Maybe some extent of it, but not really that high percentage at all. Uh, but the YouTube channel now is called Bipolar and Beyond because I want to talk about mostly about mental illness. Uh, kind of like focus on an issue of... of Bipolar, but also expanded to beyond that to other mental illnesses and maybe some other subjects as well along the way, but really trying to focus on like uh, the bipolar and mental illnesses uh, more so. Uh, update number two I am still doing the bicycle trip from Philadelphia area to California. If you watch previous videos, I uh, basically I work part time now. I, I have disability, I have food stamps, and I plan on saving and living off disability and food stamps to travel across the country from Philadelphia area to California. If it doesn't work out, it works out. Some people might look down on me because I'm doing that, but my disability comes from my, uh, not physically, but from mentally uh, challenging. Um, so yeah, update number three, I do plan on going back to school for psychology. I wanna get like a, at least a bachelor's in psychology. I already have a bachelor's in telecommunications, which is basically, the study of business aspects of the mass media industries as well as production and cultural aspects of it. Uh, but I do want to go back to school to a uh, community college to uh, focus on getting a degree in psychology and maybe continue, I'm going to continue to a different school afterwards of getting associates and hopefully maybe getting a master's after that. I know it's going to be a long process and um, but I do think it's going to be something that I want to do and I'll, I'll share the journey along the way as well. Uh, summary of me, basically I've been diagnosed with bipolar disorder since 2012. I had a mania attack, which led me into psychosis. And basically, um, I get delusional thinking, reality is like really warped and I'm, I'm, just, I'm not thinking clearly and just, it just, it's just chaotic. And I went, my parents thought I was on drugs, but I went to the mental hospital and it turned out I had bipolar disorder. I, I was completely sober minded. And my first hospitalization was in um, Brooklyn. And since then, in 2012, I've been hospitalized many times since then uh, due to mania and psychosis most of the time, sometimes hypomania, a little bit, mo a lot, a lot, not as much as mania, but also a good amount for depression as well and suicidal ideations. Uh, for example, I had a suicide attempt in 2019. Fortunately, I was unsuccessful. But I've been struggling with suicidal thoughts ever since I was a child. And uh, yeah, so like I've been hospitalized many times. I currently live in a CRR, which is basically a group home for people who have mental illnesses. So I've experienced with that. We're living with people who have other mental illnesses. Like it's, it's a very, very varied here. Um, also, um, I have a recovery coach. I have a therapist. I have a psychiatrist. I have a certified peer specialist. And um, I'm just, I have a lot of resources, fortunately for me. And um, so yeah, that's, that's basically an update with me. Update with the channel. It's basically, yeah, I'm going to be focusing more on bipolar disorder and expand it to other mental illnesses and maybe sometimes beyond that too, maybe a little bit of philosophy like that. But the main focus here is going to be bipolar disorder and mental illnesses. Uh, so I hope you join me along the way. If you have any comments, please comment down below. I would love to hear some feedback. Uh, even if it's negative, you need to give a thumbs down, give a reason why. Uh, but I would appreciate a thumbs up and a subscription as well if you're interested in any of the content I said. Um, so yeah. Uh, that's, that's pretty much everything. Thank you. Bye.